Hey, what's going on? This is Sunshine. And E. Hey YouTube, welcome back. More videos, more comedy, mm -hmm. more laughter, more sunshine and E. That's right, that's right. This, you know, it's funny, I, I think we've done him before earlier. Um, Don D.C. Curry, but as I think I only really know him as D.C. Curry. If he just said Don Curry, I wouldn't know who he is probably. But I remember D.C. Curry, but I, I guess it's Don. I believe he's from D.C. The area. I'm not sure, but I, I think I heard him <coughs> talk about it before. But um, yeah, yeah, we done him. And uh, I know we discussed it after about him sounding. I said he kind of got a delivery like uh, Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. So maybe pay attention to this and maybe you can hear it and maybe it'd be more... Uh, obvious in this one but uh i don't this doesn't really uh, go into what he's going to talk about but no. um before we get started if you all can uh, do me a favor please like subscribe hit the notification bell also share and comment below so let's go said i always talk about the same thing the truth <laughs> and nothing but the naked truth <laughs> i don't try to camouflage it or nothing that's the best way to be in my mind naked and true <laughs> Look around, most of the people in here look good, but you're all dressed up, camouflaged in your clothes. <laughs> look around again and imagine the same folks sitting next to you, naked. <laughs> Some of them don't look too good, now nah, do they? A whole lot of them looking at you saying the same damn thing, but that's See the this. best way to be, naked. There's an old saying, they say you come into the world naked and you leave the same way, naked. I believe that. And I also intend to enjoy some naked ass days in the <laughs> <laughs> I can have a whole lot of folk around. Yeah. I don't need a whole lot of folk around. Sometimes I just get naked and sit down and enjoy my own damn self. <laughs> you can identify yourself. If you're naked, you can get in touch with yourself a whole lot easier. If you're naked, I ain't got to go nowhere. Sometimes Still I just aware? sit at home in the den and watch okay. TV. But naked. <laughs> it's my TV and it's my den. I ain't got to put on no clothes if I don't feel like it. <laughs> Sometimes I go into the kitchen and make a sandwich. Take it into the dining room, sit down and eat lunch, but naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's my damn dining room. From time to time, I go outside and work in the yard. I be mowing the lawn, washing the car. I wave to the neighbors. Some of them don't like it too much, but I really don't give a damn. That's my damn yard. It came with the house, and I ain't got to put on no clothes if I don't damn feel like it. You ought to get naked every now and then. You ought to get naked. Every now and then, every now and then, you ought to get naked. You know, modern medicine, modern technology, Modern cosmetology will allow you to hide yourself from your own damn self. <laughs> you can wear a whole lot of fancy stuff and you really forget what you really look like. But you ought to get naked every now and then and look at your damn self. <laughs> they got makeup now, you can leave it on your face for four or five days. You can sleep in it. You done started thinking you really got smooth skin. <laughs> <laughs> they got contact lenses. You can leave your contacts in for 10, 11, 12 months. You done started thinking your eyes are really that damn color. <laughs> you know your black ass ain't got no baby blue eyes. <laughs> Light green eyes. Be your own damn self. You got to be yourself. Why disown your mama and daddy wearing a bunch of phony shit? Long silky hair hanging down your back. And your daddy had hair like steel. <laughs> your mama had hair like wool. That don't make silk. <laughs> that makes steel wool. That's what you're <laughs> Be proud of your own self. Be proud of yourself. Get naked every now and then and identify yourself. It'll make a better person out of you. So you'll be less critical of other folk if you're getting naked because you realize you ain't no 10, you damn self. <laughs> got some cuts and bruises on your ass. Some mosquito bumps you scratched as a child and left little dots on <laughs> The birthmark look funny. Your navel ain't tied exactly right. Something wrong with you. <laughs> get naked and reacquaint yourself with your own damn self. Once you get naked, you can analyze yourself. 
and then you can channel all your concentration into the right direction. Don't be more than you can be. Be all you can be, no less, and no damn more. <laughs> don't be trying to go into an arena that you don't qualify for. So that's what bothered me about the controversy with the Miss America pageant. A lot of the contestants got together, they were raising hell, saying it ought to be based on the intellect. It's a beauty contest. <laughs> Nobody gives a damn how smart you are. If you win, if you become Miss America, you ain't gonna make no decisions about the national economy. You ain't gonna decide nothing about no wars or none of that. If you become, you become Miss America, all you got to know how to do is wave and smile and look the part. Nobody gives a damn how smart you are. Don't mean we don't love you if you're smart but ugly as hell. This just ain't a contest for you. <laughs> if you win, if you become Miss America, you'll make about a million dollars during your reign, four or five more million thereafter if you play it right. So do I think it's a shame that you got to come out in a bathing suit and a pair of high heels? Yeah, I really do. <laughs> I think you ought to have to come out butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the end of the runway and do the Tootsie Roll for four or five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stay in your own arena. You can't be forgetting where you came from, losing your heritage. That's what happened to Michael Jackson. <laughs> I ain't talking about him, man, Lisa Marie Presley. I think that's a good couple. Both of them look funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them worth a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. And that was the bottom line. Mike had to marry somebody worth seven or eight hundred million dollars or more, just like he was. So I really don't know why black women raising hell about it. You couldn't have married your poor ass. <laughs> <laughs> don't qualify. You think the media on him now? What if he'd have married you? Your 78 Cutlet Supreme Park. <laughs> <laughs> was about the money. But the problem I had with Mike was the child molestation case a few months ago. 38 years old, almost as old as I am. He on TV just crying and stuff, talking about the detectives wanted to take a picture of him naked. So what? Be a man. you 38 years old, drop your damn drawers. <laughs> <laughs> so <Dang. old. laughs> oh, been trapping all, all over the world, pointing at it, folks, singing and stuff. Drop your drawers. Let them see your little bony, naked, shriveled up, yellow checkerboard ass. Dang. <laughs> he a man. Mike in the child molestation case gave me a problem. And I really don't believe Mike was guilty of what they accused him of. I believe he was guilty of just losing his common ass sense, <laughs> losing touch with his heritage and his culture. I believe he had the children in the bed with him. I believe he had the children in the sleeping bag with him. But I don't believe he sexually molested them. But my question is, why take a chance like that? <laughs> why have the children in your sleeping bag? If it's little people your ass likes, there are some grown ass little <laughs> people. <laughs> That will fit in your sleeping bag. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Gary Coleman. <laughs> he to fit in the sleeping bag. Maybe not that wide head. Gary, <laughs> 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 about 48 or 49 years old. Wouldn't have been no child molestation suit on Mike's hands. He don't like his mama and daddy either. They had a lot to talk about all night long in the sleeping bag. Tattoo, if he wanted a white girl, white girl, he died. Tattoo would have fit in the sleeping bag. He needed the money. He needed the work. Webster, what happened to Webster? They were dating for a while. He carrying this little bitty grown man around the TV. He would have fit in the damn sleeping bag. Can't make enough money and lose your mind. So I'll never forget where I came from. I won't forget. I came up in the church. 
Came up in the church, but every now and then now, I go visit a white church with some white friends of mine. And really, I got no problem with the content of the material. Mm -hmm. But they can't never break it down and make it relate to me because my background is so different. Even though they got some things I really like at the white churches. They gonna let out on time. I like <laughs> 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 o'clock, 11.30 at the latest, I'm out of there. I can go to the house and watch the whole ball game. <laughs> Man, it's a calm situation. Ain't nobody gonna be jumping around on my feet, hollering out a bunch of personal confessions, putting my name in the stuff. I mean, I didn't want to tell all my damn <laughs> Then they ain't gonna tell. They ain't gonna raise but one or two offerings. Ain't no billing fund. The billing is already paid for. <laughs> It's relaxed. Relate to me, so I have to stick with the old black church where y'all are jumping around acting a damn fool. Mm -hmm. I know how you feel. Been struggling all week, and now you're among some most struggling folk. <laughs> you feel like you can let your hat down. But I got some questions and some complaints for y'all. Mm -hmm. I want to know why you got the whole service all day long. Mm -hmm. Three o'clock, 3.30 in the afternoon, I'm sitting in here listening to the man say the same thing over and over in different <laughs> keys. Why you gotta let the choir sing the song so many times? 17 verses and the course between every verse. Then the little director gonna make up a verse about his personal problems. <laughs> you wanna hear that? Uh. Your own personal problems. Why you got so many offering? Pastors offering, deacon offering, deacon S offering, sick Susan May's offering. We all got sick ass folk. Let everybody take care of their own damn sick folk. <laughs> And the building fund, oh, yeah. <laughs> You've been collecting. You've been collecting for the building fund for 19 years. When you gonna build the building? Can you build an Astrodome or something? <laughs> Why the announcement so long? Half of that stuff in the paper just set up a newsstand outside. <laughs> <laughs> But that's where I Mercy. choose to go. I make sure I patronize my own folk. Every time I go back to the hood where I grew up, I go to a little old family-owned grocery store. You got one in every neighborhood. I know it's hard, but you got to be dedicated to patronizing your own struggling folk. You got to apply your own affirmative action. What you got to do. I know it's hard. I go to a little grocery store that's been there about 40 years, still ain't got a damn thing on the shelf. <laughs> Get up to the counter, the price gonna be different, but you got to stick with them. I know it's hard. <laughs> I don't even know why they call it a convenience store. They ain't got a damn thing you want. convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Oh, cut off. Man. Yeah, that was part one, I think it said. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now you wow. hear, do you hear the Steve Harvey? I in? hear Steve Harvey in there, but I also hear um, D.L. Hughley. Oh, yeah. And yeah. that when he first started off, I saw Kevin Hart. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, okay. a little bit. And But it wasn't Kevin Hart who I was thinking. It's, it's still somebody else oh, really? oh, that okay. I have in mind that I'm like, I cannot figure it out. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, I And it, it's, it's weird because everybody has different styles. And his style, like if you compare his style to let's say um Dave Chappelle. He could probably do three Dave Chappelle, you know, if he used that same material, because Dave takes his time. He sets it up to this guy, he's just just back to back. He's just rolling, rolling just he's back to back. So I mean out, most of those guys that most of those would be like four or five different sets because he just keeps it going. But his his is not really like I'm gonna throw these little zingers or whatever. It's just uh just good funny talk, uh stuff that you can relate to and he just uh uh just you know you can almost see a guy that say you know sitting around with a bunch of people just talking and mm -hmm. he's just funny he just, yeah. yeah just he's that kind of guy but yeah, yeah he does remind me of uh steve a lot i think they kind of came from that same era that same kind of vibe mm -hmm. but uh but that was um but that kind of tells you how long ago that was because he's talking about michael jackson being uh 38 years old at the time so that's been several years ago But um, that's D.C. Curry or Don D.C. Curry, um, funny guy. I, I'll always like mm -hmm. to hear him. He kind of reminds me of George Wallace. Is it George Wallace? That's who it is. Oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's is who it? it is. Oh, okay. 
It's not, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do because it's that's voice who it wise. Is. Voice wise, he is closer to George Washington. Oh right. my word, that's, that's who, yeah. who it is. I was like, it was right there in the last video that we had yeah, yeah, uh, no, did. I, I said it's there. Yeah, I, I couldn't put my finger on it, but it was right at the tip of my tongue. Yeah, they the got wallet. the same style. They because they he's rapping like that too. He's just telling stuff and going on. Yeah, you're right. Now to think about, it. I think he's probably closer to George Washington. Steve Harvey, it's just yeah, some of those little absolutely. things he do. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see, I hear it now. Mm-hmm. We need to do him because he's a funny guy too. But uh, uh, but y'all let us know what y'all think about uh, Don D.C. Curry. And uh, that was part one. Maybe we do part two another time. But until then, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also share, comment below. And I do believe that's it. That is it. Thanks for listening to Sunshine, Sunshine and Me. me.